Today, March 18th, 2008, is another busy day, week actually, for the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance in the halls of Concord, with many important bills to be debated by the House of Representatives. Seems like a fine time to address some common logistics. First is the matter of parking. If you plan to spend more than a couple of hours haunting the legislature, your best bet is one of the all-day parking garages. This one is a block south of the State House on School Street. And another one is two blocks south of the Legislative Office Building, or LOB, here with entrances from North State and Green Streets. For more options, you can find a parking map at concord.nh.us in the Police Department section under Parking Enforcement. Generally, our first destination is a meetup in the State House basement cafeteria around 8.30. On hearing days, the next stop is usually the aforementioned LOB, but today the full house is in session, so we're staying here in the State House. Yeah, follow the money. So next, we'll head up to the third floor via the North Stairs and stop in at the House Clerk's Office for a copy of the House Calendar. It's much easier to follow the action with their version of Cliff Notes, after all. You can also find it on the state website, and along with video and audio streams, if you're playing along at home. Here you'll find the schedule for the day, including all the bills the House intends to take up, along with the respective committee recommendations of ITL, inexpedient to legislate, or OTP, ought to pass, plus the majority report, as well as any minority report. The House actually votes on these recommendations, rather than on the bill itself, so you have to pay attention to know what vote is actually a positive outcome. Second floor north is also where you'll find the entrance to the Senate chamber. And one narrow flight up from here is the entrance to the gallery. But since in fine New England fashion, you can't get there from here, we'll head back down to the first floor and climb the south stairs to get to the entrance to Representatives Hall. Surprise, surprise. Liberty activists handing out liberty wisdom. Cool. And finally, one more flight up to the gallery overlooking the action. Hi, uh, my name is Ofer. Um, two weeks ago, I walked into the gift shop at the State House and requested a map because I'm always getting lost here. Um, and they treated me very suspiciously, asked me questions like, what do you plan to use it for? But eventually they gave it to me. Um, and here it is. It's actually very nicely done. It includes a history of the State House, and it's got maps of each floor. Very convenient. Um, this morning, uh, Biker Bill, who was videotaping, went in to ask for a map, and they pretended like they don't exist. Um, when pressed, they said that, oh, they used to have them a long time ago, but for Homeland Security purposes, they were removed. So we're going to go in and we're going to repeat that entire performance and get it on tape and then later on investigate who's responsible and why and see if we can possibly convince them to reverse that because I think the guides are very useful. Uh, so here we go. We have a self guided tour brochure. No. Does it include like a layout so I can find my way around? No, it doesn't. The Do layout, we mm -hmm. don't have layouts anymore. Mm -hmm. When did you start carrying those? After the 9 after the 11 thing. Well, did, did it used to look like this? Yes. Because I got are, this two weeks ago here. Yeah, but we're not supposed to be handing those out all the time. They're only. We got in trouble, so. Oh, you got in trouble for handing them out? 
Yeah. Who, who put you in trouble? Was it a federal agent or, no, or a no, state no, agent? No, no, no. Stop. <laughs> Uh, so we just had a lovely conversation with Virginia Drew, uh, who works at the gift shop and does apparently all kinds of stuff around here, including managing tours and etc. Um, and basically it seems like, as she explained it to us, she essentially has 424 bosses. So she'll get permission to use the maps and then a rep will freak out and come in and give her pressure and they'll take the maps away. So I think what we need to do at this point is figure out the chain of command and make sure that a policy is made clear and communicated to all the reps so that they know that they individually do not have the power to interfere with a legitimate function like giving maps to visitors at the State House. And that way that should protect Virginia from being hassled by people who are upset about this. They'll have another channel to take it to. And hopefully when they take it to that channel, we'll fail because the maps are great. Well, that'll get you started. Plus a little extra amusing diversion. Come on down and join the fun.